Something exciting to happen on AEW Wrestle Dream. It was the main event. It was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the TNT champion Christian Cage versus Darby Allin one-on-one -on -one in a two-out three-falls match for the TNT Championship. So yeah, this was the main event for tonight's Wrestle Dream. And this match, it was a pretty good match for the most part. Um, you know, during the first fall, Darby Allin was trying to do everything to beat Christian Cage, but then he manages to pretty much like roll him up for a pin getting the one two three so yeah darby allen defeated christian cage uh and got the first ball so yeah uh darby allen's ahead one to zero and they go into the second fall of this match and then you know christian's beating down darby a lot of times sending him outside of the ring and all that stuff at one point we actually see uh, Darby Hay coffin drop on the Christian Cage outside of the ring, and then he throws him back inside the ring, climb the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a coffin drop again, but Christian Cage puts his knees up, and then eventually they go outside of the ring, and then Christian Cage starts slamming him onto these still steps, like, off the ring apron, onto the corners of the steps, like, where you walk up and down. Like, Christian just kept on throwing Darby onto it. And then eventually, Darby Allen got counted out. So, Christian Cage won the second fall in the two out three falls match. And then they go into the final fall, the third fall. And uh, Christian Cage was just dominating this match. He exposed the wood and stuff. And he actually grabbed uh, Darby and he said, kill switch onto him on the exposed wood. He pins him. One, two, Darby barely kicking out at two. Uh, Darby Allen kept on trying to fight back every time in this match. At one point, he actually hit the coffin drop onto Christian Cage. He pins him. One, two, Christian Cage barely kicking out at two. And then eventually, Christian was trying to hit the spear onto Darby Allen, but Darby Allen moves out of the way. And Christian actually accidentally hit the spear onto the referee, which took out the ref. And then, uh, you know, they're going at it and everything. And then Nick, uh, Christian Cage actually grabs the TNT Championship, and then Nick Wayne grabbed out of his hands, and it looked like Nick Wayne was going to help out Darby, but then Nick Wayne hits Darby Allen with the, in the face with the TNT Championship. The referee got revived and counted out Darby. So yeah, uh, Christian Cage defeated Darby Allen tonight in the two out of three falls match, and he is still the TNT Champion. Well, Christian Cage pinned him, but yeah, uh, Christian Cage is still the TNT Champion. That's what happened. Great match, but then after the match ended, Christian Cage and Nick Wayne's beating down Darby Allen, and then eventually Sting comes running down there trying to help out Darby Allen. But then Luchasaurus comes down there, and obviously it's three to one now. They're beating the hell out of uh, Sting, but then the lights go out, and all of a sudden we see somebody driving and everything, and then the lights come back on. The theme song plays. And it is Edge. Edge debuts in AEW. He comes out there to Metalingus uh, Alter, Alter Bridge performing Metaling uh, uh, Gliss. <laughs> I can't speak right now. Out there. Uh, but yeah, his theme song from WWE is now in AEW. Uh, and yeah, he comes out to his theme song. And yeah, he is named Adam Copeland. Uh, not Edge now because obviously WWE owes the right to the name Edge. Let's be honest, he should have came out there to his old ring name. Uh, what was it? Uh, something Sexton's. Uh, but yeah, um, but he comes out there as Adam Copeland. He gets into the ring and he looks at Christian and goes like, "Hand me that steel chair." Christian actually has on the steel chair. Nick Wayne places Sting's face onto the other steel chair and looked about to hit the concerto up until Andrew raises up the steel chair and he comes back around, hitting Nick Wayne in the back with the chair and then throws the chair into Luchasaurus's face. Christian Cage quickly got out of the ring and then Edge hits a spear onto Luchasaurus, which he lands on the steel chair, and then he hits a spear onto Nick Wayne, laying him out as well. And Edge is standing tall while Adam Copeland now. But yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, Edge making his AEW debut. Quite to start calling him Adam Copeland, I guess. And yeah, Christian Cage is still the TNT champion. Great stuff for the match. Uh, I'll give that match uh, four stars as well. I'll give it great match stuff. But it was great to see Edge debut in AEW. Now, it feels weird that he's in AEW because, you know, WWE. You always be thinking that Edge would have always stayed in WWE, you know. But yeah, he's in AEW now. 
uh, for tonight's AEW Wrestle Dream, I'll give it nine stars. That's why I'll give it. It was some good matches. The stuff match of the night, I gotta say, was Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. That match was really good. Brian Danielson versus uh, Zack Sabre Jr. was a good one. I would say the second half of uh, Wrestle Dream was, you know, pretty good. First half was all right at best, but the second half was really good. But yeah, uh, like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bonales, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. Now I'll be down there in the description box, and I'll see you guys later for tomorrow night's Monday Night Raw reviews. See you guys later. Until then.